everyone, I'm Jeep Mama and this is my new high lift jack. The safe use of your high lift jack. That's what I'm going to share with you today. The high lift jack is a very useful tool, but if not used properly, it can be very dangerous and can cause serious injuries and even death. There are many uses for the high lift jack. There's lifting and winching and clamping and spreading, but today we're going to focus on lifting my Jeep Wrangler safely. If you've increased the tire size on your Jeep, the factory jack is not going to do it. So that's why the high lift jack comes in handy. The high lift jack is designed to be used on sturdy bumpers and rock rails, not on the plastic bumpers, nor the tube bumpers, nor the tube sliders. There are other places on your vehicle that you could use the high lift jack. One such thing is using the lift mate. And in my next video, I'll show you ways that you can use this. You're going to want to make sure you have a sturdy lift point for your high lift jack. Okay, let's get started on how to safely use your high lift jack to lift up your vehicle. First, you're going to need some good leather gloves and some lubricant. I'm going to use WD-40 because you need to keep those parts lubricated so they keep working properly. Since this is the first time I used my high lift jack, I'm going to practice several times before I take it off road just so I can make sure all the parts are lubed properly and I know what I'm doing before I take it off road. The high lift jack comes with directions and you're going to want to read these directions over several times to become familiar with the safety of the jack because safety is very important when using the high lift jack because it's a very dangerous tool and it can cause serious injury or death. One of the other things it mentions is do not use the high lift jack to support or stabilize your load, which is the vehicle. Do not use that alone. You're always going to want to secure the vehicle with chocks and blocks. You're going to want to use one of these to stabilize your vehicle or if you're out on the trails you could possibly use a rock or your spare tire to put underneath your vehicle so if it does, the jack does let loose, the vehicle's not going to fall as far and you're going to want to secure those wheels. Um, you can use rocks, you can use tree trunks, you can use two by fours. When you're out on the trails, whatever you can find to make those wheels secure so the Jeep doesn't roll backwards or forwards. So safety is first and stabilizing your vehicle is going to be your main priority. Chalk the wheel opposite the end being lifted. So you make sure the jack is on a firm level dry surface. You lift the reversing latch to the up position. Then you unhook the handle, the red part, from this, the bar and you pull it up until it gets right under where you want to lift your load. Then you lock it back in place. And then for women it's easier to pull down like this. And you don't want to get anything in between the triangle of death because this is a very dangerous piece of equipment and it could cause serious injury or death. Let's see, I'm using my hips. And you have to listen for the click. Once you have your Jeep to where you want it lifted, you remove the tire or you fix whatever you need to be fixed, it's time to lower it. So you take the heel of your hand and you're going to want to push this locking mechanism back down. But you also have a good firm grip on the high lift jack. So now you can start lowering it. And again, you're going to want to Listen for that click, that top pin to pop out. You're going to want to wait for that top pin to release. But keep a firm grip on the handle because the whole unit, when it releases from the load, is going to come down. You lock it into place and you're done. 
I have the all cast steel jack in black. Now, if you're unsure of what high lift jack to use, I would suggest going to their website and checking out all their options. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to high lift. They're awesome and they'll get right back to you and help you decide which jack is best for your uses. High lift jack makes several accessories to help you when using the high lift jack, like the lift mate, the off-road base, storage bags, mounts. I will be sharing with you my top five high lift accessories that will come in handy when using the high lift jack in my next video. So don't forget to check it out. Hey, thanks for watching. Could you do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and the little bell right next to the subscribe button gives you notifications of my videos.